Hi, my friends. Once again, welcome to our Midweek Connection Point. So glad you joined us today. Hope you're staying well, staying safe. Um, I want to begin with a couple of shout outs. Uh, I truly believe that during this pandemic and lockdowns, we have lost so much in our relationships and affirmation of those we love and work with. Oh my, it is really true, my friends, and we have to find ways. I seriously believe uh, we will feel the ripple effect of this for years to come. Um, I really do, and I think that there are people that are pointing in that direction. But that doesn't matter. Saw a sign the other day. Um, it, it's it, by somebody who was protesting. And right in the middle of the protest of the lockdown and that, it said, grandparents are essential. <laughs> I love that. I love that. And I'll tell you, I miss the times of squeezing the grandkids and uh, laughing with them and playing with them. Um, we don't do near enough of that. So, we have found creative ways, I hope you have as well, to connect digitally, FaceTime, Zoom, Skype, uh, stay creative, um, and love on your family and friends. So today, this is a special shout out. I will get in a lot of trouble, but we're doing it anyways. Um, this is a shout out to my beautiful wife, Liz. Uh, I call her and refer to her as Lizzie because she's my Lizzie. On May 8th, this Saturday, she joins many of us in the fourth quarter. So I won't tell you how old she is. I'll leave that alone. Happy birthday to the most awesome girl and delightful and most loving sweetheart. Happy birthday, Lizzie. Gotcha. Now, just a reminder to all of us that this Sunday, May 9th, is Mother's Day. Yes, I am still sentimental. Um, to continue to celebrate this day. Some have said, oh, we don't celebrate that. We rename it. That's good. I still love it, and I think it's a great opportunity. Time for flowers, card, chocolate. You do have time to do that. FaceTime, phone call. Seize the moment, my friend. Seize the moment. Uh, give your mom a shout, or your grandmother, or someone that you wish to say thanks. Now, the last shout-out, and that's why I'm wearing this top, um, yesterday, on May 4th, was designated International Firefighters Day. And I want to do a shout out to the men and women who serve so faithfully in our communities. I have had the incredible privilege to work alongside so many of uh, in this region. So I, I want to say I deeply respect them and their commitment. And as chaplain... I have prayed for them. I have celebrated weddings with them. I have remembered loved ones who have passed away. I have cheered them on when they have babies and celebration times. I've enjoyed teaching moments with them and so much more. I have a deep respect and appreciation. And I want to express that to all of them. The retired, the volunteers, the career, men and women, new recruits, experienced. This shout out goes to you, especially from Port Coburn and Wayne Fleet Fire and Emergency Services, where I serve as chaplain. Good on you. Thanks for serving our community. Now, a couple of thoughts for the day. I go back to, and I've referred to it, and um, so appreciate the book, Psalms now, and I go back to Psalm 95, and I love the writing, and I want to read it to you, and then say a few thoughts as I close, just to encourage you this day. The writer, Leslie Brandt, in the 95th chapter, says this in a contemporary version of Psalms. Let us begin this day with singing, whether we feel like it or not. Let us make glad sounds and force our tongues to articulate words of thanksgiving and praise. The facts are, God is with us. This world and we who live in it are His. He loves us. He has adopted us as His children, and we belong to Him. This makes us valid, worthwhile. We are truly significant in the eyes of our God. Irrespective of our human feelings or the comments of our critics about us, 
This may not be the way we feel this morning, but this is the way it is. We don't need the platitudes of our peers or for we have God's stamp of approval. So let us begin this day with singing, whether we feel like it or not. Then we may end this day with praises because we know and may even feel that we shall forever be the objects of God's concern and the children of his love. I love that. We need to be reminded of that, my friends. We need to be reminded of that. And as a pastor, as your pastor, I want just to remind you of that, especially in our days that we face. Today, today, I choose. Life is not flowing as we hoped it would be, but I choose to make the most of it. Relationships are challenged because of our differences of views and opinions but I choose to love and show grace. Situation is uncertain with lockdown, reopening, how, when, why, but I choose to do my part until. At times, God seems so distant and unaware of what we're going through, yet I choose to trust him every day. I am surrounded by so much hurt and sadness and confusion with health, with life and death in the balance. But I choose to speak into their lives, even if I don't know what to say, and hold their hands if it's allowed, and pray for without ceasing. We don't know what a new normal will look like, but I choose to believe that God does. And I serve a risen Savior filled with hope and purpose. So let us begin this day with singing. I'm not such a great singer. But I can have joy in my heart and harmony in my heart to praise the Lord. So let's begin by singing, whether we feel like it or not. It's a choice. Then we may end this day with praises. Because we know that we matter to God. Oh, Please hear that, that we matter to God. My friends, stay strong. Stay strong, stay healthy, pray for one another, support each other, and may you have an awesome week ahead. Thanks for this short time together. Thanks for allowing me to speak into your life. God bless you.